Okay, put that brush back and we'll be done with that drawer. I need to brush my hair. What's up? Hello and good morning everyone. You guys can always tell probably when I turn on the camera if the sun is shining or not because it makes me so happy when the sun is shining. And I'm in my bathroom. I see the beautiful green grass. It's so pretty. Blue skies out there. So I'm happy today. It's starting out to be a super great day and that's because we're starting out this day in my bathroom. Is that weird? You guys, welcome to my bathroom. Speaking of which, I need to update this. We need to get those painted white to match the rest of the house. All of the bathrooms still have white counters. That's probably a change we need to make. Probably been in our bathroom before. If you've seen our house tour, if not, you should go check that out. Coming in from our bathroom, you have my closet, Brandon's closet. Mine's a smidge bit bigger. We have our double vanities. We have a great bath area, shower, toilet around there, huge mirror right here. We have actually quite a bit of storage. We have a lot under here and under here, but what we mostly use are these four drawers. You guys probably recall the other day when we were shopping for couches, I also went to the container store. This isn't a place I normally buy products from. When I'm looking for something specific, I will go there. So I was looking for like organizers for my drawers that were a certain height. I ended up finding some great things there. There was something I found there that I wanted. It has like little organizers, but it has a gold trim all over the top and I just thought it was pretty. I ended up grabbing some of those, but today we are going to organize my bathroom drawers because they are such a problem for me and I wanted to show you guys how I'm going to organize them. So first I want to show you what I bought. I ended up getting two of these. This one has several different spots, different sizes of compartments. I ended up getting two of those because I just wasn't sure what I was going to need. I know I need to go back to the mall to return those fabric swatches, so I decided to pick up two of those. I got this larger bin that has just two dividers. I thought this would be great for my curling irons and those kind of things in my very bottom drawer. These are what I'm most excited for. They're cute little compartments. They're plastic and they have gold on the top and I just think that they're really pretty. So I ended up getting two of these, one for Brandon and I in each drawer, mostly just because I wanted them to match. I don't think Brandon really cares to have the gold. I will tell you when it comes to organizing things, a lot of you have asked where I get like my refrigerator compartments and containers and then also the ones in the pantry. Those all came from home goods. That's probably a better way, but but if you have something specific that you need, maybe go to somewhere that specializes more these kind of things. Let's get started. I want to show you my drawers and what they look like and how scary they are. I'm going to show you our drawers. This is the very top drawer. This is Brandon. As you can see, stuff is just kind of thrown in here because we have, this is a really, really cheap organizer. I bought these ones from Dollar Tree. I would buy these more somewhere like Walmart if you want the thicker ones. This one is also from there. They're very chintzy. This is a good one, but he has one good one. That's it. Next one down is my stuff. I have it pretty well organized. Again, I don't like them. I just feel like we need to have like complete organization here rather than stuff just thrown everywhere. That's mine. Next one down is what I do with all my hair stuff. You can see I have scrunchies everywhere. I have a random box, you guys, this is what I use probably every two years. I probably will do it. I used it right before our trip to Hawaii. But this is generally what my drawer looks like. It's These are deeper drawers. I wanted something that could fit everything. And then the very bottom drawer is all my curling irons and bloater and everything like that. All right, you guys, we are gonna start with my drawer. What I'm gonna do is take everything out. You guys can see I have a nice towel under there so the actual drawer doesn't get dirty. That's one way to save your drawers. So I'm just gonna empty this and then we'll clean it out and then we're gonna put the new bins in. I emptied the drawer and I'm just going to wipe it out. This is why I've kept a towel in there is because these are stained from before we moved in. I'd rather just keep the drawers completely clean so I wipe them out. And usually being my bathroom, there's just hair everywhere because that's what happens when you have long hair. I don't know if this is totally silly or not, but I went ahead and put the towel back down just to keep things nice. I'm just going to start putting these in and kind of just have to see where I like things, how I want them. I did wish, maybe this is what I'll do. I kind of wished I had two of these bigger ones. So what I'll do, Brandon probably doesn't need two big ones. I'm going to take one of his. Miss Hazy wants to help me. Can you say hi to everyone? Hi. hi. Okay, Hazy, I want my toothbrush and toothpaste. I want it in this container. This is the one I always go to first. Good job. And then do you want to put my floss in there? Mm -hmm. Floss is this little thing, that little round thing right there. Oh, that's more toothpaste. It's right there. Just put the little floss in there. I'm going to put that toothpaste in my travel stuff. Perfect. That. Good job. I'll hold it. Where can I put me. this? You can put that lotion in this one. We'll put the lotions in there. Good job. So I'm going to put all of my skincare stuff in here. Part of going through and organizing is getting rid of stuff that you don't use. Go through this stuff and say, am I really actually going to use this? Or am I just storing stuff because I have a problem getting rid of things? That's typically my problem is I'm like, oh, but I might use it one day. But if you haven't used it in a year, get rid of it. I went ahead and put everything in here. The things I use most often are my toothbrush and toothpaste and my deodorant. Those things I use every single day. Thankfully, every single night. 
why I use all of this stuff. This is part of my nighttime skincare routine. This is like maybe a spot that if I took off my rings to do something, I could put my rings in. I usually have band-aids in here, but I don't have any right now. That in case we need it. A nail file, I always use that, just extras. These are all my lotions, and sometimes I use these facial cleaning wipes. I feel like mine was way easy to do. I did get rid of some things that I don't need, like this is empty. I don't use those. Just get rid of the stuff you don't use. Now that this drawer is completely done, I'm gonna move on to the next one, which is this one. This is my worst. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna empty everything and clean it out, and then I'll put it back in. As you can tell, I have a little bit of a scrunchie problem. Tons of you guys have always asked where I get my scrunchies from. It's on Instagram, it's called Shop Flourish. This was a three pack. I have every single set of scrunchies that she sells. She also has these darling hair ties. Her name's Abby from Twist Me Pretty and she has the cutest scrunchies. I wear them all the time. Did you find your dance shoes? No, not yet. Okay, I'll help you find them. Okay. Did you look in your cubby downstairs? Yeah. I'm gonna use one of these. I don't think I'm gonna get to use second one because I need a spot for like my round brushes, my broken mirror that I insist on not cleaning and I don't know why I haven't bought a new one. But these kind of things I need a spot for. So maybe I'll just keep all my brushes on this side and all my little trinkety stuff on that side. I went through every single little thing and found how much stuff I was storing in here that I didn't need. I went through and divided all my little hair ties, got my little hair clips, scrunchies. Okay, put that brush back and we'll be done with that drawer. Well, I need to brush my hair. What's up? My hair's gonna grow so long, I'm gonna be like Rapunzel with my hair. You're so beautiful too. Last and final drawer, I don't know that this can be put together any better, so we're gonna give it a try. I'm immediately starting this and realizing that this bottom drawer just can't have a container because I have to fit my blow dryer and no matter which way I put that thing in, I cannot fit everything. So at least I was able to wipe down the inside of it. I can always return this. I have my receipt. So now I'm just going to put these in and just keep them nice and tightly rolled and just organize them so that will at least feel good. So at least it's cleaned out and I can fit everything in it. And those of you that are wondering why I have so many curling irons, I have no explanation other than I like having a lot of curling irons. I had enough time. I went ahead and did dad's for him so his looks nice and great. I gave him this back because I think he needed it. <laughs> These are all done. All done. Now that my project is done, it's time to get Hazel to dance. So I'm gonna go run her there. Got the vlog on a little bit early today, so I'm gonna head on over to dance. Hazy's not quite out of dance yet, and I'm gonna surprise her. I'm never there when she comes out of dance, because it ends before I get the vlog finished and uploaded, but today, done a little bit early. I'm gonna take her and Brex with me on a very special, very exciting errand, you guys. I just got word just now that our new merch, can't even tell you how excited I am about this, our new merch in stock, ready to be picked up. I'm gonna go pick it up. We're gonna show it to you today. In this vlog, it's going to launch on the website tonight, which means by the time you see this, it'll be there, available for purchase. It's gonna be amazing. Also, that means we have restocked fully the tumblers and sports bottles. We've got our old hats and our old shirts back in stock. We are locked and loaded, you guys. First, gotta go surprise Hazy, pick up Hazy and Brex, take them off to pick up this hot new merch and introduce it to you guys. Buckle up for some fun, baby. Hazel! Hi. <laughs> oh, great thing you just ate that after. <laughs> Hi, my honey. Hey, Did you do a good job today? <laughs> A little bit anticlimactic going and surprising Hazy. She really didn't seem that surprised or that excited, but maybe that's a good thing because I'm so much in her life that it's not that big of a deal to see me show up at her dance. Uh, that's what I'm going with. So we're gonna pack up the car, head off, and pick up that fresh new merch and bring it to you guys right now. Guys, did you see all that stuff? There's this thing that happens more often than I'd like to admit in the life of a vlogger where you get off on the record, stop, record. I don't know where you're at in that process. I don't know how this happens as much as it does, but I had this really fun video of us loading the stuff in. I was kind of like freaking out about how cool it is that it says TIHWB hats on it. I've never seen that, but because these are custom from China, this is literally our shipment from China has our TIHWB on it. And I thought that was super cool. And then I did a full video of us loading it in. Anyways, basically what happens is, is when I hit record, I'm actually stopping 
stopping a recording and then when I hit stop, I'm actually starting a recording so you end up with random footage of me walking to the truck. I always love that. Missed the loading process entirely, but guys, here's what we've got. It is locked up, loaded, ready to go. Boxes on top of boxes of fresh hot merch coming your way, you guys. Look at this, full truckload. When I say we have truckloads of swag, I mean a literal truckload of TIHWB swag. Let's get this stuff home, get it unloaded, get it into the swag store, which is our basement, and then get it into your houses, into your hands. Oh, and first we gotta show you what it all is. Guys, what do you think? Should we get this in the house? Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's do it. <laughs> All right. If you watched yesterday's vlog, the Costco haul, you heard us mention that we're trying to get some easy, simple dinners on the go because we have had so many baseball games, soccer practices, all kinds of things filling up the evening. That is the case again tonight. We are off right now to our third baseball game of the week, you guys. It's our third one this week. Off to Kirby Do's baseball game. Rexon has soccer practices tonight. I'm doing some volunteer service with the youth in the neighborhood. And when we get back from all of that, we will crack these boxes open and show you what's inside. So stick around. Don't want to miss it. We've been teasing it all day. We're finally ready to show you what we've got in store. Oh! You guys, fresh new, new hats. hats coming in hot. We gotta Little show you every inch of these. Completely customized, you guys. We went Fully customized. all out, completely designed these hats from top to bottom. We've waited a really long time to get these. We are finally here, finally gonna release them to you. But guys, that's not the only design. That's not the only one. <laughs> we have both designs. You can go THWB style or logo style. And here's what's super rad. If you get the logo style, the back has THWB on the tag. If you get the THWB, the back has the logo. the logo on the tag. This is kind of like a rubbery material. It's called Sonic Weld. And we specifically chose this because it was just kind of different, kind of so unique. it pops off, it's cool. It's really cool. And this material is really great. It's very breathable. It has the little holes all over. Very so soft. It's, it's so soft. soft. It's stretchy a little bit, right? Would you so, say? So, and also on the back, it has TIHWB. Okay. The coolest part of this hat this is, you is love on this. the inside. <laughs> oh, it's completely so customized. Custom. This is how we bing them. All and then the again, inside. we also also did the TIHWB oh on the inside gosh. here. Show them mine, show them mine. This is the alternating style. This is the alternating style. This is the TIHWB patch that we've sewn onto here. We've got like that edge thing. I don't know what you would call that, but the way they sewed it on there, it's really cool. It makes it kind of pop off a little more. It gives it an edge on the border there. And again, this is the same type of hat, so it's breathable. It's a nice, pretty gray, cool gray. This is a nice, it cool gray. pretty gray. This has the logo on the back. TIHWB on the front, you've got the logo on the back. If you've got the logo on the front, you have TIHWB on the back. But then on the inside, all of them have the TIHWB, TIHWB and this this is how we bring them. This all is how we bring them. Totally customized. Guys, I love them. They are so sick we and so custom. Designed these like completely. We had to order these months ago. We've these been waiting came in on these from China. So we've been waiting for yeah months. Yeah, we've been waiting for a very long time. We're really excited about them. So you guys, they are going to be live in the shop today. You can order them. And guess what I'm going to be doing with my weekend? I'm going to be filling your orders so that they can come straight to you. If you already have a hat, that's cool. That hat's awesome. Keep it. But you need this hat. <laughs> uh, guys. <laughs> and yeah. that's not all, you guys. That's not all. Today, hold please. Okay, I'm back. Not only are our new hats now available, but you guys, both of these are now available. Fully back in stock. Limited quantity though, so Act order fast. these quick. They just go really fast. They go really fast. These are both great. This is the tumbler. This is a sport bottle. And this has a flip top lid. Great for water. This is my water. This is my Diet Arch Pepper. You see how I've done that? And also, that's still not it. You guys, so many of you love our new design of shirt, but I think a lot of you are kind of missing the old Bingham logo. Don't worry, we brought it back. We are selling more of those shirts. They're gonna be in stock, but again, we didn't stock very many of them, so go on over and get those. Also, our TIHWB shirts are available in black and white. Where do we go to get them? You guys, where do you go to get them? You go to thisishowwebingham.com slash swag. Swag? Swag. Swag. <laughs> there you have it, the official launch of the brand new hats. We love these hats. They are so, so soft. I'm so excited. I've got it on your I head. I like mine curved. And I do mine a little bit flat. So I I'm working on it. Wear mine backwards usually, but I don't know. I could wear this one frontwards, I think. I would just want to probably bend it a little bit if I did it frontwards, because that just looks, I don't know, something about it looks weird. I feel like I gotta do this. You look like a bro, dude. Yeah, I'm not really a bro, dude. <laughs> Head on over to our store, thisisowbingham.com slash swag. We will have everything up there so you can order, you can jump on and buy right now. We can't thank you enough. Every single time we get new stuff or we make oh, any kind of an announcement, so you guys 
guys blow us away with your love and support in advance. Thank you guys so much for supporting us and for just loving the these things that we do because we, you, you can see, you can sense. We get very excited about this. We're very excited about the new this hat, the new look, the new about. designs, just the way everything feels and looks. And so to have you guys share in that excitement and to see people out in public wearing this That's stuff. That's been the coolest. That is the absolute coolest, you guys. Jump on over, check it out. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Thanks for hanging out with me organizing the bathroom, you guys. I feel like that went really well. Kind of all just came together. I wish there was a hidden camera when I pulled out my drawer because I didn't know you had done that. Because <laughs> I was like, Whoa, <laughs> that looks awesome. Guys, come back tomorrow. We will be at the Tulip Festival. So we're gonna go to Thanksgiving Point and they are, have got fields and fields of gorgeous looking and it's beautiful smelling tulips. Beautiful. So we're gonna so walk excited. through those and have a great time. So do come back for that, maybe sporting some of our new merch. So we love you guys. Thank you for everything. And we'll see you tomorrow. We love you guys. This is my merch. Back, back, beep, 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 send me. I'm making the castle. Dad, where's the other one? Did you want to help me? Yeah. Want to do two people on that one, maybe? Move, move, move. So you hold that side. So keep holding that. I'm gonna come down. You guys got it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it.